Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. Let's dive right in here, and we are about to face Dr. Wily. Or are we? Anyway, so this is apparently Dr. Wily's secret lair, and uh, I guess he designed it to look like a giant skeleton because he wants it to look evil. Uh, yeah. So anyway... <laughs> That's where we're going. And it's not as big as it looks, because this level uh, is about 20 seconds long, if that. Um, well, at least it would be if I don't uh, totally fail here and die. But uh, anyway, so this is just um, basically, I don't even know why this part of the level is here, but jumping on these uh, one platforms just disappear, and the one that I died on, basically, you have to jump right after you land on it, otherwise it just drops you to the floor. So hey, there we go, we're at the boss already. Um, so, here we go to doc fight Dr. Wily. Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, it looks like a giant eyeball. Yes, in fact, Dr. Wily has left his um, one of his henchmen to do his dirty work. And that henchman's name is Giant Susie. Yes, that's right. The giant eyeball's name is Giant Susie. Don't ask me. Here's where we're going to use our energy tanks that we've collected. So, uh, this boss is actually fairly easy, as long as you have an energy tank on you. Um, you could probably, you could definitely do this one without getting hurt, but it's just on, it's such a small area that it's really hard to, uh, perfectly dodge everything. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, and, uh, we beat Giant Susie. And Dr. Wily is nowhere to be found. That cowardy fucker. He fled. And so, we are left to fight four more freaking bosses. That's right, we gotta fight four more bosses. And, uh, we're gonna kick that off, um, actually, I'm not sure, let's see, and we're gonna kick that off with, uh, Drill Man, oh god, these bosses all look, it's like the fucking village people here, so, here we go, Drill Man, he's the guy with the, uh, giant tits on his armor, <laughs> okay, whatever, man, what a feminine pose, anyway, this, uh, this level is actually probably the easiest, probably one of the easiest of the four, and that's why I did it first. Uh, there's tons of new enemies in these four, um, on these four bosses. There's that classic enemy that everyone knows, I forget what the name is, but yeah, everyone knows what that one is if you've played a Mega Man game. The little dude in the, uh, in the army hat. Um, so, they're all over the place, uh, and... There's also tons of those one dudes that I just ran into, the, uh, I don't know what the hell these things are, like, spinning top crazy people, and we have, uh, yeah, I don't even know. There's that life up there. I don't need it, because I have infinite lives, like I said, but you know what, I'm gonna get it anyway, because I can. Oh, our old friend, uh, Bolo Guy's back. Everyone loves Bolo Guy good times with him, that's for sure. And I can't seem to do one without getting hit. Because I'm a failure. These uh, platforms just, uh, spikes grow out of them, or change uh, direction every now and then. No big deal on those ones. Okay, so the, yeah, this enemy is such a f pain in the ass for me. Anyway, it's, you know, I don't even know what the hell that is. It's some kind of guy in a spaceship. A tiny spaceship. Or, I don't even know. It looks like a it's, it looks like a giant welding mask or something. Yeah, we're just gonna call it giant welding mask. I mean, I use spark shock on this, but it's more trouble than it's worth, really. Um, a lot of the times, actually using these, the special weapons are uh, oh god, bats! I hate these freaking things. They take two hits to kill. You have to wait for them to pop out. It takes forever for them to pop out, and then they fly at such weird freaking angles that it's hard to hit them. I don't know. There's a pain in the ass. You will see. You trust me. You will see. Oh, there's a friend. Oh, by the way, I found out his what his name was. Uh, he's not. He looks like a toilet to me, but actually, his name's Eddie. So that's Eddie the Toilet Man. Uh, here they gave us a nice little double E tank surprise. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you. I could let you guys know, but falling on spikes in Mega Man 3 will instantly kill you. So you don't want to do that. I should probably find out what those dudes in the army hats names is. So I don't keep calling them dudes in the army hat. Uh, these f 
falling dust things. You want to kill them while they're big, because if you let them explode like that, they split up into a bunch of little pieces, and all the pieces hurt you a lot. So you want to make sure... It only takes one shot to kill them. And, uh... Oh, um... Here I go. I died of sprite lag here. Uh, it totally fucked up the timer on that bomb. Sprite lag is a fairly prevalent issue in this game for some reason. I don't know. It d does it on the Game Boy too, really. Oh, there's another death to sprite lag. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does it uh, even on the Game Boy, so... It's just something you gotta deal with. Uh, bullet time, as it were. So I'm not gonna fail this time. I promise. Oh, there's Bolo Man again. Right, he thinks he's he thinks he's gonna hit us with that thing, at, like throwing it way above our heads. What an asshole! All right, so here we go, and uh, got some more falling blocks, falling rocks or whatever. God, Bolo Man, what's your deal? You keep coming back to life. No one likes you, all right? Your parents don't love you. Yeah, I'm not even gonna kill you. Uh, more army hat guys. Oh man, sprite lag and failure. And I need to up that. <laughs> okay. Oh hey, I got a life out of a rock. Wonder how that works. Oh here we go. This this guy is one enemy that uh, is pretty um, useful to use spark on him. He deals a shit ton of damage and take, he has a lot of life. So. Alright, so here we go. We're about to fight um, Drill Man. We're, we're just going to call him Tit Man because he has giant boobs on his armor. So this he's a really easy boss. All he does is dive underground. All you got to do is jump around and he will pop up underneath you to get, turn around and shoot him in the face. Uh, he also jumps really high. So I have to use an E-Tank because I totally forgot about that. Uh, these these uh, last four levels are not... I don't remember them very well at all, so I'm probably going to fail greatly on these levels. Except for this one, because this one's pretty easy. And that includes the boss, too. So, uh... Yeah, we're just waiting for him to pop up. And there we go. Drillman's dead. That's what you get for one girl armor. And we're going to get our new ability. You got... Drill Bomb. Oh joy. Drill Bomb just shoots a giant drill that explodes. So it's, it's pretty good times. It's also the weakness for the next boss we're going to fight. And we will do that next time. So see you guys then. Goodbye.